Det där du tror jag, fadern. Det är du fan. I mean, that will labour, that's going to produce like a... I mean, you can really spend the time and you can get it 98% defect free if you really wanted to. Mm. A little defect there, but... Something that I definitely want to do with this paintwork, especially on this final finishing thing, is just to go back over, do one pass everywhere, just on speed turn four, just to offer it a even softer finish. Okay. Because, yeah, it is. It's a medium hardness paintwork. It's black as well, so it's going to show everything up. That slower pass is just going to, it's going to just refine it that little bit more, just to take out any potential chance of some holograms. Um, and on six, with this being a Mark II, it does it spins a lot quicker than the Mark I does. Right. Like I haven't even had a chance to blum in correct a full car with this yet, so I'm still getting used to this machine. But that felt so much quicker than my Mark I does. Definitely want to finish off on Speed 74 um, just to make sure that it's all nicely refined because there's no point. What I mean at this stage, I yeah, I, I do get the feeling that. It, Speed Sent 4 is going to do a world of good. Um, if I was to then wipe the entire car down uh, with IPA and then look it after and think I should have done that Speed Sent 4, like follow your gut sometimes. Um, yeah. Save a bit of time, it's, it's already on there, I just need to whiz over it. Um, yeah. um,
you really want to use um, like one tile to do the residue removal, and then a second tile to do the IPA in an ideal world. In fact, we're doing a complete problem and do that, but what we'll just do is swap the towers out because we're not doing a complete cover. Perfect. Solid black, no haze, no holograms, no swirls, no marring. Easy. <laughs> Not every car goes as easy as this. That that paintwork is quite easy, just yeah, quite an easy paintwork to work with. Um, not saying that every car is like that, because they aren't. Next um, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to finish off your section, exactly the same. Um, but at least now we know that um, this combination is what's going to work for the paintwork. Yeah. Um, just in case we're getting stuck in and getting the job done. Uh, yeah, some folds really are well easy. I've done a couple of folds and I've been pretty easy. Um, See so harder paintworks, your, your German paintworks, and your beamers, and your well, yeah, there's a couple of beamers that I've done that've been real hard paintwork, and you have to use so much more uh, force, and it needs so much more um, time to yeah. to put the defects away. Your length of service is just gradually getting longer and longer. Um, this type of thing and the softer paintworks take a little bit more delicacy, but you. You're able to get to the, you cut to the chase a bit quicker, um, which is never a bad thing. Yeah, um, yeah I'm I'm super impressed with um, how I've managed to get my test section, so to speak. If the car was completely OEM, then it'd just be a case of spending your time and doing the complete car. Um, a few days, a few days of work, definitely. Um, yeah, black, black's a good colour. Um, Cheers everything up. And in return, when you're doing a good job, it uh, gives you the motivation, satisfaction, then to get you know, the rest of the car finished. Because yeah. they do look pretty good when they're all ceramic coat with black cars. And you get them outside the natural sunlight, and um, yeah, the colours just absolutely pop. The, the Mercedes AMG C63, that was, got it outside, and the colour on that thing was just, it looked wet. <laughs> <laughs> like the black, you know, the morning sunshine, it, the guy just looked. Sort of wet, it was ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Yeah, fun. Bubbles! <laughs> How original! <laughs> Still uh, bulbs again. Yeah, you don't need to, uh, not massive ones, so that's probably a bit too big. In fact, that'll do. No more. Put that there. And that there. Yeah. The, um, this ultra fine polish it spreads out pretty far um, obviously you're cutting stage when you when you're doing your finishing stage you may as well do one complete panel at a time um, cutting stage you want to be isolated bits dries out quickly you have to reapply it more finishing stage knock out a panel at a time with your finishing stage as long as you know that it's working um, yeah it saves you a bit of time saving saves you wiping down sections at a time. Yeah. So I guess it's all about making your life easier. Um, making your life easier. It's not letting it affect the quality. It's not my choice by the way, bubbles on the dry. Whose choice was it? Well, I wanted to go for something a little bit more professional, you know, that looked and sounded a bit more Who thought of it though? I thought of it, on purpose. <laughs> I wrote six or seven names down on a piece of paper and I put one gimmicky name down, Bubbles on the Drive. Right. Sent a message to him. <laughs> <laughs> Sent a message to him, straight away I picked out Bubbles on the Drive. Right. Showing the missus, straight away I picked out Bubbles on the Drive. Showing my mum, same name, Bubbles on the Drive. Oh, okay. I'm just not winning here though. <laughs> but I didn't want to go for a gimmicky name. <laughs> Swap your other ideas. Ah. Um, I wanted to go for something that I could kind of take 
the first letters and make some kind of logo out of it. Because I was playing about with a few different designs and have you seen have you seen Michael Van Gerwen's? You know who Michael Van Gerwen is, the dart player. Yeah. It's called MVG and the, the, his, his logo it's like an M. And the bottom of the M drops down into a V. And then he incorporates a G into it as well. So I was trying to come up with something like that. And I can't remember the exact name, but I had an, a little name in mind and I came up with the design as well and sent him it. But we still ended up with King of Bubbles. <laughs> 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 Once I get a young it's getting changed, so. Yeah. 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 They say to um, stay away from the initials. They do say you stay away from the initials and the business name. <laughs> no, I have a few random ideas, yeah, I don't know, I'll stick with that for a while. So. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, there's anywhere to get any good around it. Uh, Mackie's. Matthews Co-op, they're all within a couple of mile drive, nothing um, super close, closest is probably Co-op, uh, Co-op and then Matthews, Matthews is perhaps a, um, an additional five minutes. We'll grab some tweet quick. What? What time are we on? It's one o'clock. Twenty. Oh jeez. No, I thought it was late. I thought it was about one. Half one. Well, um, uh, so geez, uh, stock food. Uh, like we could do a little bit more machine potting. Yeah. If you want, and then um, get some food. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess uh, next thing will be our own, obviously. The different contours, um, good to have these two different machines, at least two different machines. One for the LHR 15 that one is, 5 inch pad. Yeah. Mini Bigfoot, 3 inch pad. Um, obviously that 3 inch pad is going to do these bits nice up here. Them, uh, them bits. Uh, the ends and those are the back things, rather. Um, but what I tend to do is use this machine as much as I can to do as many areas as possible, and then switch over to the small ma smaller machines to do those other bits that you can't really get to. Um, so may as well stick with this machine for a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, so these types of bits, chrome, 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 usually okay. Yeah, you wouldn't really need to take them off. Obviously, if they're plastic, then it would. You'd want to take these bits off. Um, but no. uh, we may as well. Um, we may as well cut. We may as well cut this complete side. Well, say complete side. We may as well at least do these two doors. Yeah. Um, these two doors, maybe the A pillars and some other little bits with the small machine. So at least now that we know what combination we're working. Yeah, even with that white pad, you still want to give it a um, brush. A brush off. 
just gets that uh, dust dust off. Uh, gets the dust off the uh, and gets the fibers back up again. So again, with these areas, it's just about maneuvering the uh, machine into a position where it's comfortable. What's going on there? Not to the machine. One trick, one tip, one quite useful tip that I picked up from this ammo guy was um, obviously this has been this first little section that I've done. Um, move over to the next one, and if you're able to, if there's enough compounds still in there to polish this bit, there's no point in applying more compounds to the pad if you've, if you've already got enough in here. So one way to keep on um, on top of product residue, but product residue control. I guess if you just continue to polish away, the polish, the compound is fine. It's not drying out. It's still cutting away the defects. Mm -hmm. There's no point in applying more compounds. Then eventually oversaturate the pad. So if you're able, just to You may as well just keep going, and then at least that way you can keep the detail flowing, moving on to your next section, and then perhaps do this complete complete door. Obviously, when you're starting, by the time you've done that bit, if you were to move over to here, you, you, there's just not enough at that present time. There's not enough product in the pad to keep it going. So then, obviously, you do need to fluff it back up, wipe it off, apply a bit more, and carry on. Yeah. But as you progress through the detail, this starts to become. You know, more filled with products. If you can just keep it going, it's yeah. going to be laying down. It's just going to be. You're going to be able to control the residue in this in this pad. One way of controlling the residue. Um, so you may as well just just keep on going with it. Um, <laughs> What vape juice are you vaping? Mint. Yeah, yeah. mint. Mint? What, what are you on? Uh, it's like a berry. Oh, okay. berry card, yeah. Smell like almost a chocolatey one, a cookie one. I thought. It smells well nice, whatever it is.